Welcome to Harvesting Clouds, where we take a practical approach to learning and leveraging clouds. In this video, we'll see what virtual network pairing is and how to set it up in Microsoft Azure portal. Let's start with a simple scenario. Let's try to understand why do we need virtual network pairing. Assume you have two VMs and each of them are sitting inside their own virtual networks. For example, there is dev VM 101, which is sitting inside dev 01 VNet. There is another VM, dev VM 102, which is sitting inside a separate VNet that is dev 02. Now, for some reason, these two VMs, they need to talk to each other, but they cannot do that under normal circumstances. Any VM that is sitting inside one VNet cannot talk to another VM that is sitting inside a different VNet. They have security boundary. Each VNet has a security boundary by which the communication is limited. Now, if you want this communication to happen for your business case, what you need to do is connect these two VNets. And that connection is what VNet pairing is all about. So once these two VNets are connected through VNet pairing, the VMs will be able to talk to each other. And that communication can flow both ways. That means that the dev VM 101 will be able to talk to dev VM 102 and the VM 102 will be able to talk to dev VM 101. Now, one of the biggest thing that I have heard and is a myth is that if the VMs are sitting inside their own VNet, they will not be able to achieve the same lower latency that they would otherwise achieve if they are sitting inside the same VNet. In practice, that is not true. In fact, Microsoft documentation outlines that once you have VNet pairing set up, for all practical purposes, it would feel as if the two VMs in their own VNets communicating with each other, they would achieve the same lowest latency that they would achieve if they are in the same VNet. Also, this communication that happens between the VMs, it happens over Microsoft Backbone infrastructure. It does not require any public IP address. It does not require gateways or any encryption to secure the communication between the virtual networks. It, the whole communication, it runs only on the Microsoft backbone infrastructure. Now, in this particular scenario, the two VMs that we are talking about, VM 101 and VM 102, they are sitting inside Azure subscription, that is same subscription within the same region, that is East US region. Later on in subsequent videos, we look at global pairing Global VNet pairing is when the virtual networks, they are segregated by different regions. For example, the VNet uh, Dev 101, it can be in East US region, whereas your Dev 02 VNet, it will be in a separate region, for example, West US region. We look at all those scenarios later on. Right now, let's jump into the Azure portal and see how to set up this virtual network pairing and see the communication between the two VMs prior to the VNet pairing and after the VNet pairing. Here I'm in the Azure portal in the virtual machine section. As you can see, I have the two virtual machines that is dev VM 101 and 102. 101 VM that sits inside the dev 01 virtual network and the VM 102, it is sitting inside the dev 02 virtual network. The two virtual networks, they have non-overlapping address space. For us to be able to peer these two virtual networks, they need to have non-overlapping address space. Otherwise, the pairing will not be successful. Now let's connect to the virtual machines, which I have already done so. So this first VM on the upper left corner, if I run hostname, you can see that this is dev VM 101. I'll run ipconfig and look at the private IP address of this particular virtual machine. At the same time, on the bottom right corner, I have dev VM 102. If I run the host name, I can see the name of this VM. And I can run ipconfig to see the private IP address of this particular virtual machine, which is listed over here. Now, to run a simple connectivity test, I'll do the ping between the two virtual machines. In a practical scenario, testnet connection 
PowerShell command or some other way of checking the connectivity is highly recommended. Ping is never a good test as ping is blocked by firewall in most of the cases. Over here in this demo environment, I have disabled the firewall on both of these two VMs. So from dev 101 VM, I'll ping this particular IP address that is the private IP address of dev VM 102. So the command I'll run is ping 10.20.21.4, which you can see is the IP address of dev VM 102. And from dev VM 102, I'll ping to the IP address of 10.20.20.4. That is the third octet being 20 is the IP address of DevVM 101. The result will be that we'll not be able to ping these VMs as there is no pairing between the two VMs. So VMs are not connected right now. Our connections will time out. And the, as I said, the VMs will not be able to connect to each other. What we need to do is set up the pairing between the two VNets. Let's not wait here. Let's jump back into the Azure portal. Let's set up the VNet pairing. Now here in the second tab, I have already navigated to the virtual networks. And as you can see, I have both the networks dev01 and dev02. Now to create the pairing, you can navigate to any one of these two virtual networks. Let's navigate to dev01 and under the settings, you will find the setting for pairings. In here, click on plus add to initiate the pairing. We'll provide a name to this particular pairing. Let's say dev01-2, dev02. We'll leave the settings default. The very first setting is what allows the traffic. It says traffic to remote virtual network should be allowed or blocked. The other two settings, we'll be taking a deeper look into this in a subsequent video. Now this setting is two in one package. You are creating the VNet pairing from dev01 to 02. At the same time, if you scroll down, the settings below are for setting up the pairing from dev02 to 01. So we'll name this particular thing as dev02 to dev01. We'll mention that the virtual network deployment model is resource manager. You can either select, I know my resource ID. You will do this if the second virtual network is in a different subscription, which is not under the same tenant. Or what you can do is you can select the subscription and then select the second VNet. That is dev02. Again, you will see the same settings that we saw up above. That is traffic to remote virtual network should be allowed or blocked and then some other settings related to forwarded traffic and virtual network gateway. We'll click on the add button. This will validate all our settings and then initiate the virtual network pairing. Primary thing that it validates is that the address spaces between the two virtual networks that we are pairing together should not be overlapping. And as you can see from the notifications that it has already added the virtual network pairings on both the VNets. As you can see over here, it says VNet dev 101 to dev 02, pairing status is connected. That means the two VMs are now connected to each other. And if I navigate to dev 02 and navigate to settings uh, for the pairing setting, if I will refresh this, I will be able to see that the second pairing setting that we created that is from dev02 to dev01. That is also showing up here and the pairing status is shown as connected. Now that we have set up the pairing, it was a very easy process to set up. Let's jump back into our virtual machines and run the tests again. So here I'm back in the two virtual machines. Let me stop the tests. As you can see, it has already started replying. If I run the ping test again, you will see that now we'll receive the response from the other host. That is 
DevVM 101 is able to communicate to DevVM 102 and vice versa. So this concludes this particular video. That is, we were able to create the pairing. We were able to see that the traffic before the pairing between the two VMs was blocked, whereas after the pairing, we are able to connect to each other. We are able to ping from one virtual machine to another virtual machine. In the subsequent videos, we'll take a look at the advanced topics related to virtual network pairing and how to troubleshoot if you start facing issues while setting up the virtual network pairing or in virtual network connectivity in general. If you want me to cover any specific topics, let me know in the comments below. If you like the content in this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel to know about the latest content as it is released. See you in the next one.